All right, hi everyone, and welcome to this Python JSON parsing tutorial. In this video, I'm going to teach you the fundamentals of manipulating, loading, and parsing JSON data using Python. So, um, just a quick note that if you're not familiar with JSON at all, I highly suggest you watch my comprehensive Learn JSON in 12 Minutes video, in which I describe JSON A to Z in full detail. So if you're unfamiliar with JSON, it's probably best to watch that first. I will link it in the description. Otherwise, if you know JSON, but you're here to learn how to do how to use it with Python, then this is the video for you. Okay, so how do we get started? Well, I must say that the JSON library itself, the import JSON statement that you see here, is built in with Python. So there is no need to install any external libraries or dependencies. So the first step you have to do in all cases is import JSON. Next, what do we have here? So this is basically a very long multi-line string. So it is not a JSON file in the sense of being a file with a .json extension. It is simply, this is the JSON data inside a string. So the alternative here would, ha would be to have a JSON file and using file.open to read. Um, to read the JSON file and then you would have the string and you would store it in data But this is here just like putting the, the JSON data already inside the data variable So um, a quick note, I got this sample data off the internet So I will link the source in the description below because I'm not trying to pass anything as my own Okay, so this is the JSON data inside a string. It's a multi-line string. That's why we have the three um, quotation marks All right so this is the given. I have no other code here. This is what we have. We have imported JSON and we have the JSON data. Now, how do we actually load this data? How do we parse this data? Well, it's simply one function. So if we want to load the JSON data, we do so using, let's um, say new data is equal to um, json.loads the data. So here's an important thing to note. Now we have this new data and we have loaded the JSON data, but what do we mean by loaded? Well, JSON itself is particularly very convenient. Why? Due to the following reason. If you see here, this curly brace here reminds you of a Python dictionary or a dict. And this bracket here reminds you of a Python list or an array if you come from a different language. So. So these data structures are so built in into the JSON syntax that makes it so easy to manipulate it. So now that we have this whole curly brace thing right here, and we used it to json.loads our data to new data, you can pretty much guess what the new data type will be. And new data will be of type, let's check. So, so we just have to print type of new data. Then let's run it. And we have class dict. So as we said, this is a dictionary. It, in one line, we managed to parse this JSON into a Python dictionary. And that's what makes JSON so simple to manipulate. Because if you know anything about dictionaries, you know that you can access pretty much any element with just using brackets. But if you don't, no problem, because we'll cover that in a minute. A quick note, however, I forgot to mention this at the start of the video, I am using the Atom text editor along with the package, the script package that enables me to run programs within um, Atom. However, you can type this exact same code in pretty much any text editor that you're comfortable with or any IDE even. So you can use PyCharm, you can use VS Code, whatever you want. So this is just a side note. Anyways, continuing. So whether or not you know how to access data within a dict, so accessing data within a dict is simply doing it like this. So if we want to access, say this, we want what what's inside the items. So we have key value pairs here, as you know, if you know JSON or if you've watched my previous video on JSON. So key value pairs, we want the value of items. So to do so, it's pretty simple. So we want to print the new data and then brackets, which is sub items. So what does this code here, here really mean? This code here means that we're trying to access the, what's inside the items. 
So if you're familiar with the lists, you know that we usually put integers here. So when we say one, we really mean we want the element at index number one. So here it's pretty much the same. You want the element at index item where the indexes are the keys and the elements are the values. So if we print this out, we run it and we get this item, this very large JSON item thingy. So going back here, this is what we received. So we got this. This is the value. Um, okay, yeah, this is the value that we received. This is what we printed out. So what is the value of this items thingy? The value here is another object or another dict. So curly brace, this means it's a dict. So how can I access this? I can do it using the same thing. So if I copy this, paste it, Oh, oops, okay. So if I copy this, paste it, and then item, then I run it. Now I get ID 001 type donut. So if we go back here, so this is where, this is what I got. So we got this list right here. So why do I say list? Because we have brackets. So to access a list, we know that we use integers. So lists are indexed by uh, starting zero, so the first element would have index of zero. So this list is actually made up of one element, as you can see here. So this is the only element inside this list. So if I want to access this, I can print what's in this list at index number zero. So we run it and we get, so what's the difference between these two different lines? Here, it starts with the bracket, meaning we're printing the object inside item, and which is a list or a JSON array. And the other one, we're printing the object inside, the first object inside this list, which is this, the ID 001, type donut, name cake, and on and on. So to summarize, what have we learned so far? We've learned how to load the JSON data into a dictionary or an array, depending on the JSON data itself. Then we learned how to access it by simply using the built-in Python ways that you access elements inside a dictionary and elements inside arrays. So this is all you have to think of it. This is simply a dictionary nested with other dictionaries, with other arrays or lists, you could say. And all you have to do is manipulate it. So the JSON part pretty much ends here. The JSON is done when we load it into a dict. Everything else is simply manipulating standard Python data structures, which are dictionaries and lists. So if you're familiar at all with basic Python, this should be a breeze for you. So more examples. Wait, before we do that, we can verify that. Uh, I know I kept saying list and list. We can verify that the type of this, so this one right here that starts with a bracket, is actually a list. So if we print the type, for this, so type, and then we run it, and it's class list. So very straightforward. So whatever is inside this whole data thingy was loaded into a dict, and whatever was inside this item here, this item key, was a list. So we just verified that. This is everything you need to know to understand JSON. You have the dicts and you have the lists. That's it. Everything else is pure manipulation. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you a question. I wanna get every single topping that there is. So I want all of these, meaning I want this list, this list, which is a value for the topping key. Now, how do I do that? So let's delete this so we don't care about, it, about this anymore. You can find it in the source code for this tutorial. So we want to print out every single possible topping. So let's say every possible topping. Then, what do we print in JSON terms? So let's do this together. Let's traverse it. So the first thing we want to do is that we want the value of this, items. So we want new data, sub items. It's important to have these quotation marks here because these are strings, so these keys are strings, so you would not be able to access it if you don't have these quotation marks around the key. So, all right, so I'm inside items. Now, where do I have to go? So my goal is to get here, into toppings. Then I go into item, which is another dictionary. Item. Item has a list. 
and we said we would access lists according to their integer index. And so we do so. It's the first element. Then, what is this? This is another, this is a JSON object. This is another dict. So, how do I access toppings? All I have to do is simply say sub topping. And that's it. So now I run it. And now I have every possible topping. So I have a list of all the possible toppings, which are none, glazed, sugar, powdered sugar, chocolate with sprinkles, and going on and on. Now, another question. I want to access this word right here, chocolate. Now, how do I do so? So this is a um, so this is a list, as we said. These are six or let's say seven um, different objects inside this list. Chocolate is the second to last one, so it would be indexed at number five. So if you count zero, one, two, three, four, five. So we say topping, and you just simply add sub five. What would we get in this case? So we run it. We would get this row. So there it is, ID 5003, type chocolate. Now I want to get chocolate itself, so we have to say sub type, and we run it, and we get chocolate. That's it. So going nested into a JSON document is very simple. All you have to do is differentiate between JSON objects, which would be loaded into Python into Python dictionaries, versus JSON arrays, which would be loaded into Python into Python lists. And then manipulating and accessing them is simple. And it's the exact same thing for um, everything else. So here's another challenge. We want to print all the possible toppings, but we want the name simply. So here's what we can do. We can say toppings is equal to new data, sub item, sub item, sub toppings. So this is the list that we have now, right? So we have now a list of objects and these objects which are dictionaries have the different um, have the different toppings inside them inside the type uh, type key so let's just delete this and if we print toppings just to verify okay we have all the objects we have a list of all the objects so okay for loop for topping and toppings simple for loop what do we want to get? We want to get um, the type. So let's say print topping sub type. And now we run it. And we're done. We got a list of all the possible toppings by simply accessing this list. So saving this list into a variable, then traversing this list using a for loop the way you would traverse any Python list ever and then extracting this information from these Python dicts that we got at every index in this list. So that's pretty much it. You can play around with this JSON Python. You can play around with this JSON Python library, which is the standard JSON library, and you can just try to access all sorts of information within this document. The source code will be available as well as comments letting you know what each type of print statement or statement does and what we're trying to access. So be sure to check that out if you feel you want an extra reference guide. And thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was use useful. Stay tuned for another video about actually creating or dumping JSON data using Python.